Welcome to the Noonday Meditation with Wayne Vernon. Laban answered Jacob, The women are my daughters, the children are my children, the flocks are my flocks. All you see is mine. Yet what can I do today about these daughters of mine or about the children they have born? Come now, let's make a covenant, you and I, and let it serve as a witness between us. In confronting his father-in-law, Jacob revealed his lived experience over the last 20 years. He had been used and abused, exploited and taken advantage of. He has suffered in silence all these years. Why? Maybe because of fear or guilt. He knew what he did and he knew what he would be exposed to if he had to leave Laban's house. At this point, however, his transparency initiated a path to reconciliation that may have been totally unexpected. Laban did not admit to his wrong, but seized the opportunity to manage the conflict in a mature way. The message translation helps us in our understanding. And we gain a better sense of what transpired. Laban began by defending himself. Verse 43. He insists that all Jacob had left with was his. The, the translation says, The daughters are my daughters. The children are my children. The flock is my flock. Everything you see is mine. However, Laban concluded, that a violent confrontation to recover all his family and flock would not be wise. That would expose his daughters and grandkids to danger. Laban's proposal is amazing. I could cause trouble, Laban says, but that is not good. You see, he says the New English translation puts it this way. But how can I harm these daughters of mine today or the children whom they have given birth to? How can I hurt them? He therefore invites Jacob, his nephew and son-in-law, to reconciliation. Verse 44, So come now, let's make a formal agreement, you and I, and it will be proof that we have made peace says the English translation. In the message, it says, So, let's settle things between us. Make a covenant. God will be the witness between us. Ah, what a, what a, what a, what a reconciliation. Make a covenant. God will be the witness between us. Loved ones, this is such a wonderful example. After the abuse, the accusation, the anger, the acrimony, Laban decides this has gone on for far too long and it has to stop now. And he took steps to reconciliation. How about you today? Will you be the one to call the ceasefire? Will you be the one to initiate the peace talks? Somebody has to do it and that someone can just be you. Let us ask God to help us today to take the high road. Let us say enough is enough. If we don't, innocent persons are going to get hurt in the crossfire. So let us neutralize the toxicity of this situation. We've got to bring things to a close. By God's grace, let us end the war in our marriage today. Let us end the war with our siblings today. Let us end the war with our parents. Let us end the war with our co-workers and friends and in-laws. Let us seek to neutralize every conflicting situation in our lives. God will receive the honor and the glory and our lives will be enriched. It is the Christ-like thing to do. 
Should you need further instructions in these matters, please feel free to text the number 647-696-0422. Should you desire to surrender your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, please text the word salvation to this number as well. Someone is standing by to support you right now. Please remember to pick up your copy of my book, Six Practices of Effective Leadership on Amazon. The link is conveniently provided for you in the description below. If you're in the Toronto area, you could swing by 1655 Wilson Avenue, the West Toronto Church of God, and pick up your copy. If your church needs support in leadership training and development, please give us a call and we'll be willing to come and support you in these six principles and other leadership matters. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Thank you for listening to the Noonday Meditation with Pastor Wayne Vernon. Please forward this study to your friends, relatives, associates, neighbors, and all of those persons who share your social network. If you have a prayer request, please feel free to communicate with us and we will commit to supporting you in prayer. Until we meet again on Monday. Shalom.